Hi everyone, it's uh, David, and I am just going to try to show you how to do that thing I said I would do today, uh, which is how to embed your Remind feed into your um, whatever D2L page. So I'm in Remind right now. I'm going to go to the thing that says Good Afternoon Mr. Lomax here, and I am going to click Account. And once I'm in there, I'm going to click Widgets. And here what I've got to do is choose a class. Um, you can have it do all of your Remind classes, but I can't see why you'd want to do that. And so let's see, I will choose my e-learning class right now, my ets for you. When I do that, it gives me this HTML code here. And I can just click Copy Widget Code. Now that's copied into my clipboard. Now I'm going to switch to my home page for my course. And what I've got to do here is I've got to go to Course It In. Once I'm there, I choose Widgets. And I choose Create Widget. I'm just going to call it Remind Feed. And I could write a description down here. I don't bother because I'm lazy. I go to Content. And when that loads, what I need to do is just click this thing down here, which is the HTML source editor. And that brings up this little window here. And all I've got to do is paste that uh, code that I got from Remind. And I click Save. And it doesn't look like much yet, but it usually has worked. It, I haven't had any problems with this yet. Now I can click, or oh, I could click Preview Widget to have a look at it. Let's have a look. There we go, you can see my Remind feed is there. I'm gonna close that. I'm going to save and close. And the last step is, I guess it's two steps, is to get it into my onto my home page. And so to do that, I go to Course Admin here. And I go to Home Pages. And you can see my home page, my default one, the one that I'm using right now is in blue. It's called Course Default Copy. I click that because that's my active home page right now. And in there, I scroll all the way down to the bottom where there is this button, Add Widgets. And I can scroll all the way down here and find this one called Remind Feed, which I just created. And if I click Add, it puts that one right down there. And then I'm going to click Save and Close. Now, if I go back to my course home, I'm going to delete this later because it's going to be silly because now I'm going to have two of these things down there. I'm going to scroll all the way down here. And at the very bottom, there's my Remind feed. Easy as that.